Hello, and welcome back to more Graveyard Keeper. We are picking up where we left off. Um, going through, probably going to be looking at the farming, making sure we've got all that under control, which I think we do. Um, just looking through what's due this, uh, this week. Let's have a quick look. So, all of that stuff is one... We need to find out what the Gypsy Baron knows about Esmeralda. We need to sell more crates. We need to get the ne Necronomicon. And get the Aristocrat Papers. And also deal with the Donkeys thing. Maybe we could look at that as well. The Gypsy Baron wants four Silver Star Fish Fillets. So maybe we could go do some fishing today. And we've also got to go and ask about the, the Vampire. There's actually quite a lot that we can do today so let's um let's get started on that first things first though i think we're gonna get some pumpkins going that sounds like a good start um after that we are going to i don't know what to do with this guy yet i forget what i've got set up at the moment that needs a porter because that that's what i envisaged for him maybe we'll take him underground because there's another zombie device that i want to set up but we're also going to put him here for now i think that way he can uh transport the gold star goods which makes me think that maybe we should take a moment to check what what we have and what we can sell because crates of veggies are obviously an easy one to send I think we also need to look at, um, <laughs> yeah, I think we need to look at doing something with more, more brewing stuff. So let's go. We want gold star veggies. We've got a hundred gold star onions. I'm going to take them all. And just plenty of, plenty of honey. We are the honey barons. Not to be confused with the honey badgers. Oh yeah. So let's have a look here now. Box of vegetables. We can do three boxes of vegetables. Can I put a zombie on that? There we go. You work on that. Okay, that just got 40 water. Not fully convinced that's like great, but we'll we'll keep working with it. Where is the water now? There it is. So we'll put that in there. We've got plenty of water coming along. Now we also built the trophy case, but we don't have the trophy in it. Which is of course a statue of the ancient god. We should be holding on to that too. I recall reading somewhere that that was important to have. And let's go put the eggs and stuff up. Um, this week, it's kind of funny. Um, I, as you may have been able to hear in my voice, I've actually been uh, unwell during these past few episodes. Um, I tested for COVID last week and it was negative. I thought oh well it's just a cold gotta push through it my housemates got sick and they uh they also tested for covid today and it turned out positive so <laughs> i went and tested again and what do you know i tested positive so yeah if uh there's been any um if there's been any uh questions about anything turns out it's because i've got covid after all these years rightio so we can make bulk oh my gosh that is so helpful um the comments suggested down below that these things can be made in bulk in the professional kitchen which is what it's good for now we can put another box rack in i guess i i yeah, I suppose we'll put a box rack in and see what that does. 
Uh, let's go sweet home. Now, I believe I had one making planks. At least I think it was planks I put him on. Yeah. And I'm going to take a quick moment to then... Well, first of all, put the meat aside. Second of all, look at what's needed for a zombie brewery. So the zombie brewery is... 32 stone, 12 and 4. I think we probably have that on us. Let's go have a quick look. We got two. Uh, 10 stone. Plenty of that. Do we not have more stone? Have we been chugging through the stone? We must have. Okay, so we'll have to correct that. That's pretty simple. Um, where's the zombie that was here? Did I? Oh, I took you off. Okay, never mind. Apparently he doesn't do it, by the way. Uh, piece of stone. There you go, you work on that. Not enough resources. That's odd. Maybe it's because I picked something up. I must have picked something up looking at it. Okay. They've been sent off. They'll be run off. These are now ready. We're getting more lentil seeds, which is good. Yep. 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 Um, how many silver do we have? And any gold? Three out of four. Okay. We'll get you done. And then we'll get these ones done as well. And they can have some bronze. But first of all, this. And then, bronze. Right. Let's deal with this. With, with with COVID, I could absolutely just see myself vegging out to this game for hours on end. If I wasn't recording it, I would probably have spent all day today playing this game. It's just a nice game to chill to, you know? There's, there's that right mix of busy work that can sort of... You just do it, and the time goes by, and it ticks over, and then at the end, you're like, okay, I'm done. Oh, we did have more gold seeds. Not enough for a gold plant, though, so... That's okay. Three, three, one. Radio. And we've got some silver lentils and all the like. Now, this day... Is the Inquisitor. I don't think there's anything we're looking for from the Inquisitor at the moment. So, I think we're okay there. But I did want to do some fishing. And so, fishing we shall do. Do I have my rod on me? I do. I do. Let us... We're going to go to the lighthouse. He wants maggots too, I just remembered that. I find myself playing a lot of different games that have a fishing mechanic. Stardew Valley, this, uh, Elder Scrolls Online, Worm Online, um, and what else, else have I played recently? What? Yeah, I start fishing here. Hmm. Uh, Albion Online that I've been playing recently has also got fishing. Sunhaven. It's always funny seeing how they do it differently. So hang on. That's right. We've got to wait for like the slightest movement and then press a button.
Anchovy. Okay. The hook time on this is ridiculously short. At least I think it is. Okay, come on. Got you. What are you? A tuna. We've got a bronze star tuna. What did we need to bring him? Did he want silver starred fish? Um, where is he? I thought he was on the right. Four silver star fish fillets. Okay. All right. So we're just, um, we're looking for this now. What? Another bronze tuna. Okay. Um, what was the other game I've played recently that had fishing? Oh, of course, Dredge. Dredge is a fantastic game. I fully fully enjoyed playing Dredge. Um, I, I played it through on on stream and I've got about an hour to go I think and then we'll be finishing it and after that I don't know I might do another playthrough for for YouTube it's it's not super long like it's pretty um pretty accessible you know Right, we're going out wide now. We're going to see what's out here. Yeah, it's pretty accessible and pretty fun and easy to go, so... Who knows? Maybe we will. Problem is... I spend a lot of time in that doing, like, real... Just fish and go back, fish and go back, fish and go back, so... Who knows? I, I swear, the first one is not one to hook on. And also, it doesn't tell me the time as it goes past. Okay, we're not going to get that one. We're going to go for the next one. There we go. Silver Star Tuna. Good, good work. Oh, we are out of energy. Okay, here we go. One more. I think we can use maggots as bait too. We should probably do that. Okay. Steady. Okay, that was a much slower fish. Oh, it was an anchovy, that's why. Let's do one more. Right, let's go. Here we go, come on. I believe in me. I believe in my skills. Okay, this is a tuna. It's a silver tuna. Good job, us. All right, let's head back. And see what we can make from it. So if we go over to... White fish fillet.
and then quality fish fill fillet. Okay. Maybe. So, does he want silver quality white fish fillets? Silver star fish fillets. We have four silver star quality fish fillets. Okay. I'm I'm hopeful here. Uh, let's go to the lighthouse and then we're going to go up and see if he's around at night. I'm not a huge fan of the fishing in this. There's just not enough um, notification and opportunity to harvest. That's all. The, the rest of it is pretty stock standard, like we'll be honest here. But it's just that requiring the real split second timing just could be a little bit better in my opinion. But hey. Nobody's perfect. Um, where are we? Oh, no. We are walking up to the cliff, I think. No, we want to go across to the camp. Here he is. Give the fish fillets. Yeah, more now, the trick not. is to use a bonfire, not a stove. Fresh air is the key. <laughs> and of course, a good fish. But you can... You use any fish, but we're talking about good kebabs. Eat these kebabs and you'll be strong like me. Okay, we've learned kebabs. About Esmeralda. Can you tell me about your sister, Esmeralda? Where is she now? More than not. Hmm, you're Inquisitor's friend. You know, I'll tell you about my sister, but on one condition. The Inquisitor's guards grabbed one of our friends. She's still waiting for her trial, so she might still be released. Ask your friend, Lord Inquisitor, to release her, and I'll tell you everything I know. Aw, oh, man. He's not my friend, but I'll try to help. <laughs> we, we just passed Inquisitor Day. Ah, well. Lessons learned. Okay, with that done... Oh, we can do more fishing there. With that done and the rain setting in, I think we are just going to steal some berries and pop on home. Actually, I'm going to go to the quarry because I believe I have stone disabled and we want to enable stone. Um, what? Oh, okay. Hang on. Alright, that's enough marble, buddy. There we go. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so, we've got a bunch of marble. Some things we should take care of. And that's where we'll wrap it up tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, a big thank you and shout out to my Twitch and Patreon community, without whom I wouldn't be able to do this, even when sick. So take care, look after yourselves, and until next time, bye for now.